Hey everybody, Krista Abbott with KristaAbbott.com here with you today and I have a great find that I want to share with you. It is how to share private or subscription based video content on your blog. Now this will also work for paid based content where you've actually had someone pay a fee for your to gain access to your videos and you want to get that off to them right away via either your blog or some other kind of public internet forum but you want to protect that information from people who don't have access to that to a secret URL or to the secret location from being able to to get to that through searches or by viewing your accounts on uh, public video sharing websites like YouTube or Vidler or some of those other accounts so um, I'm personally using this for my newsletter opt-in I have my each day a seven day video series and each day is on its own hidden page on my blog and every day uh, for seven consecutive days then uh, folks get an email from me saying here's the URL for you to access the next day's video in our seven day video series so this allows me to be able to keep these videos private and while still being able to share them with the folks who have signed up for my newsletter and who have told me that they want to receive this content so let me just uh, take a second here and head on over to vidler.com and show you how we can set this up for you now if you don't already have a Vidler account I encourage you to do so it's really easy to sign up just head over to Vidler.com and uh, you can sign up for uh, an account there I want to head over to my videos here and kind of show you what I'm talking about you can see I have four videos uploaded and I've got several more I'll be working on over the next couple days to get my new seven day video series um, all in here and, and set up for folks and but but for right now let's look and see I have one here which is my unleashing success opt-in welcome video that is set to public and you can see all the other three are already set to private so let me show you how to get the status changed on the unleashing success opt-in from public to private so let's click here and head on over to that video and then when you get there you can come over here and click this uh, link here edit sharing options and it's going to bring up this pop-up window for you and uh, who can view this video and there's a drop down menu there you want to select just you that's going to make it private and you can see it'll automatically change these other four options here now there's this thing we call the secret URL this is your what enables you to be able to take this private video and share it with other people so in order to activate that you need to go over here and click enable and when you click enable it's going to um, bring up uh, this URL here for you so and, and you can just copy and paste that and what I like to do is bring over to a word doc and I don't need that anymore so I'll just paste it there and now we have that let's go up here and save our changes now we need to go down here to embed this this is still our same video unleashing success opt-in we've got the the uh, sharing option set to private and if we were to go over to our videos now now you can see where that status update has changed okay so let me hop back over here and we're gonna click embed this and this is going to bring up a window for you to be able to select all your embed options, your size, you can customize it, go with the small, the large, or the default. For the purposes of what we're doing here today, I'm just going to keep everything default, but if you needed to make those changes in size or colors, then you have that option. And I'm just going to grab the HTML code here really quick. And I'm going to go back over to my same Word doc and I'm going to paste it in. Now, this is where it gets fun. This is how we take it from private to public. Is we go here and we copy this code. Alright, now let's head over to WordPress. 
and you can see I've already started a new page here newsletter and I've got a little bit of content written in there but I'm ready to insert my video so I'm gonna leave the visual format and head over to HTML and then I'm just going to paste that embed code that we had in our Word document over here into my my WordPress page ad that I'm working on now let me show you what happens if you just take that embed code and go with it the way it is. I'm going to preview the change here and we've got it in another window and it's going to do this. It's going to say wrong video viewing privileges. This video is private. Well golly what good is that going to do us if the video is private and we put it on our page then folks aren't going to be able to see it, right? Well there's a trick to making it so that they can. Let me show you what that trick is. Now we head back over here to edit page in our WordPress HTML new page thing here and you'll see there are a couple of different values where this embed link is listed. We've got the movie value right here. See that? And then we've got the embed value right here and each of these has this URL. Now we need to change this URL to our secret URL. Okay, so let's go up here and this is the secret URL equals this number you just want to grab. So I'm going to copy that number. I'll tell you what, we'll do it right here so we can keep it all together. So I grab that number and see we have our movie value here. So let's go here to the end of that right before the quotation marks. Let's type zero slash and then let's paste in this number that we pulled from up here, our secret URL code. So see we've got the same number here that's here. That's one. And then the second place we want to change it is here. Again, zero slash, paste it in, and boom, there is our new embed code. So let's copy the new code. Let's head over here, get rid of the old, out with the old, in with the new, right? There we go. And preview change. One, two, three, head over to the newsletter, and what do you know? There it is. Looks very familiar, doesn't it? Same video that I have over here. So then what I'll do is I'll just go in and I'll add a little bit more content down here. I'll edit my page and add a little bit more content down here for folks. I can head back over to the visual and see, there it is. And now we are almost finished with getting your private or subscription-based video content in a public blog for format. But there's one more little thing we have to do to keep this all a big secret so that only the folks you want to get to it can get to it. And that is to go down here to the Exclude Pages option. Now this is a plugin that I've installed in my WordPress dashboard. So if you don't have this plugin, you need to go ahead and get it because this is what's going to enable you to keep this content hidden from public view and uh, search bots and all that kind of stuff. So just come here and what you want to do is make sure that box is not checked and then your page will be excluded in your navigation menu. So now that you've done that we want to update the page. And let's preview our changes. And see, it's not in your navigation menu up here. There's no way folks can get to this page unless you give them the URL. Now, this URL is a preview URL, but once you are in the official um, format, then you, you, of course, would have your, your designated URL for that. Okay, this has been Krista Abbott, and this is KristaAbbott.com. This has been a video on how to share private or subscription-based video content on your blog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Head on out there and get your private videos set up, my friend, and we'll see you next time.